see more food carts popping up in Beaverton pretty soon. Beaverton City Council gave the food cart industry an early Christmas present earlier this month. Cor Harlan shows us what to expect. The new rules adopted by Beaverton City Council are an effort in part to do away with what some food cart owners say have been burdensome regulations that have hamstrung the development of new food carts in Beaverton. Almost a year ago, I sat down with Kent Drangsholt, who wanted to set up four new food carts near Western Avenue in Beaverton Hills Dale Highway. He estimated the cost of digging up his parking lot for permanent utility and sewer hookups to be between $30 and $50,000, $4,600 a piece to hook up. In all, Kent told me he'd have to spend almost $80,000 just to open four food carts. It just seems like the city of Beaverton was saying, we really don't want carts, but we're going to allow carts. Kent's nightmare appears to be over. I talked with Beaverton's mayor, Denny Doyle, this morning about the city's new regulations concerning food carts. We're trying to make it easier for food pods to become established. We've eliminated the undergrounding of all utilities. They can now use above ground storage for waste and for water, which is what's being done around the region. Mayor Doyle says he expects elimination of the underground utility hookup requirement to dramatically lower costs and allow food cart operators to operate in Beaverton profitably. He says, in fact, he expects to see a 15 to 20 food cart pod right in the shadow of the Beaverton building as early as this spring. It's really going to spark this neighborhood along with all the building we're doing here. So it's just, it's a plan. It's not by casualty that we're doing this. And, you know, we're trying to make this an 18-hour part of town. New rules will also allow food trucks to park without a permit for less than three hours to serve food. The new rules go into effect January the 12th. In Beaverton, Cor Harland, Coin